So the thing that we need to do now is the same stuff that we put on the chicken, you want to use corn flour. And to do corn flour, you'll see on the on the packets that you get, the corn flour has the instructions of how to heat up the corn flour into a sauce mixture. Now you do that by adding corn flour and water. Now you can do this how you want. You just need to do it so that the sauce turns into a kind of thicker mixture. Now what I normally do is add two teaspoons of sauce into the corn flour mixture. Now what I do to make the corn flour mixture, you get a small glass like this. A teaspoon, you get corn flour, teaspoon of corn flour into your glass and then you add water to it. Normally add enough water just to dilute the mixture. So it's just over enough just to cover the powder that you put in there. It now turns into a nice liquid that you pour into your sauce. Pour the full amount in there. What you need to do is mix up your sauce the sauce is now boiling. You keep mixing it up. This probably won't be enough corn flour mixture to turn this into a sauce. It's still going to be a liquid. So what you may need to do is do the same thing that I've just done and put it in again. But you need to be careful because the corn flour mixture doesn't act instantly as soon as you put it in. It takes a while to react to the sauce. So, just keep mixing it up, heating it up, slowly the temperature's rising inside that saucepan, and slowly you'll get a nice sauce building up inside there. So what I'll do is just keep mixing it around until the sauce is just about right, and you get sauce texture to it. And what you might want to do at this time is just dip your teaspoon in, take a little bit of the sauce out and just try it and see for sweetness. Now to me that's perfect sweetness. If you want it a little bit more sweeter, put some more sugar in it and it'll sweeten the sauce up a lot more. But to me that's fine, a tablespoon. So what we'll do now a teaspoon sorry. Let's get another spoon. Carry on mixing that round. You can see the sauce is slowly starting to mix up and slowly starting to get thicker. But I think it's going to need a little bit more corn flour. So I'll just get a little bit more corn flour mixture. Get your corn flour. Nice teaspoon of corn flour. Put that into your glass as you did before. And just put a little bit of water in it. Just to dilute it, otherwise it just becomes into a thick mess. If we turn that heat down just a little bit, if it starts to boil up, that's because of the heat that you've got in the saucepan. But it won't cause any harm to your sauce that you make. Now pour that in there, and again you mix it round. Just keep getting it until, this is just a bit of an art, you just need to get it just right so that it makes like a sauce. Slowly it'll start to thicken up, you can see that it's more than just orange juice at the moment. It slowly starts to thicken up, thicken up, thicken up. Turn your heat up and down. If it starts to boil up, turn your heat down. And that will make it so it goes down. And slowly you'll get a nice sauce. And that's basically it. That's all you need to do. If it's not thickening up enough, put a bit more corn flour in it. With the water mixture. 
and that'll thicken it up a lot more. But remember to leave a gap between adding corn mixture because it takes a while for the corn mixture to take react really. And as you're heating it up, it evaporates and it becomes thicker anyway. So you don't want to add too much corn mixture into the mixture. Once your sauce mixture becomes thick enough, just to your liking, all you need to do then is either pour the sauce over the chicken onto a plate, or if you want it just like the takeaway do, get some bowls, just like they do, like this, put your chicken into it, and then you just pour your mixture over the top. It's as easy as that. So, what we'll do now is mixture is nice and thick just how we like it just tastes perfect turn the heat off and then we go over to the sauce and we we'll pour that mixture over the chicken just like so mix up the chicken just nicely, just so that everything's covered in the chicken and covered in the sauce nicely, like that. And that's it, you've got orange sauce. Orange chicken, just like they do in the takeaway. You can freeze that and reheat it another time, or you can eat it just as it is. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the recipe and I'll see you soon.